Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to record macros in ANSYS Simplorer software and how to edit and run macros. So why we need to do this kind of programming? In this video, I am going to calculate this graph, the value of the amplitude of the fundamental harmonic V1 versus MA. I am going to change the amplitude modulation ratio and for each value of the MA, I am going to calculate V1 and find the relationship so we have this equation here in this reference the value of v1 is equal to ma times vdc so this is a linear relationship when the value of the ma is lower than or equal 1 and when the value of ma is higher than 1 so we have a non-linear behavior okay so we did this example and we calculated the value of the amplitude of the fundamental harmonic that was 80 volt we tried this in simulation yes we exported this output voltage graph dot tab and we calculated the fundamental harmonic here you can see the value that is close to 80 volts so now i am going to calculate this graph so we calculate the v1 using the matlab software but we perform these simulations by changing the value of MA in ANSYS Simplorer. So easily we can record the macro, edit the macro and run the macro in ANSYS Simplorer to generate the output voltage graphs and then do a post-processing in MATLAB to calculate this graph. So let's try and record the macro from here tools record a script to file we can select or we can record a script to project so i record a script to project to have the script in the project folder a script one you can choose the language visual basic vb script or python so I select VBS and press OK. So I need to edit this number first. I write 0.5 for example. And then I need to run the simulation. And then I need to export this graph. Yes. So I recorded the macros related to these three actions. Now I can stop a script recording. So here you can find the recorded script, script one. And here we have the recorded code. These are the objects related to the software. Here we edited the value of MA, we run the transient simulation and we exported the graph. So easily I can write a for loop, change the value of MA and record the corresponding data. So here I write this for loop. I write for I equal to 0 to 20 or 1 to 20 20 k 
calculation points or let me consider a higher calculation points 40 this for loop a step is one one by one and here is the next this is the syntax of the for loop in vbs for and that next so here i have the value of ma step is equal to let's consider the maximum calculation point equal to four divided by 40 yes so actually i am going to change the value of ma from zero to four 40 calculation points and this step size is equal to 4 divided by 40 yes this is the step size and here this is ma step the value of ma you know in the vbs you can declare the type of variable or immediately you can define the variable and the type is determined by the software so we don't need those lines and here the value of ma is i times ma a step when the value of m i is 40 the value of m a is 4 so here we have the value of m a the first function that we are running is here the value of m a but this is a, a string this is a number so let's consider a float number this is integer and this is a string. So I cannot write MA here. I should convert this number to a string. I can use this VBS built in function convert to str. Yes, the color is blue. This is a built in function in VBS convert to str. So in this line of the code, I change the value of MA. I run the transient simulation and I export the graph to this directory. This is the name of the file. So the name of the file is I want to uh, concatenate these strings. You know, this is one string. This is another one. Using the plus sign, you can concatenate strings here i write cstr i save so as you can see we will have 40 tab files data one two three four and so on so i can run this macro right click on this script and run so the value of MA is changing step by step. And as you can see here, these simulations are running. So we recorded the macro, edited and run the macro. Easily to change the value of MA and export these graphs in MATLAB. Yes, data one, two, three, four, and so on. So this is a really cool feature in ANSYS electronics software yes you can record this kind of macros and rerun then we can post process the data in MATLAB to find this curve so this is an example but for more complex circuits you can do this kind of programming and build a link between the MATLAB and Simplorer to do more complex post-processing.
So here I copy this M file and paste it here, save. And here I set the name, the, the name untitled to. Here these numbers are fixed the same. Just I will include this part of the code inside a function. This is a function. I write uh, v1 is equal to calculate v1. The name of the function. I need to use the name of the function. F name, file name. So this is the file name. Yes, the input of this function and end. Also, we don't need to pull out the function or let's pull out the function. I include this line of the code here, close all. And here we just pull out the graphs to check if we are importing the graphs correct. So calculate v1, this is f name and v1 is equal to, you know that, the fundamental harmonic, hn1. Yes, we did the harmonic analysis in the previous video. So now we can use this function and here I write this code v1 array I consider an empty list and ma array empty list yes so here I write for i equal to 1 to 40 and the value of ma I concatenate values to this array you know in MATLAB we can define an empty array for example z and z end plus 1 equal to 5 equal to 9 we can append numbers to this list to this array so here we know that this is equal to i times 4 divided by 40 the ma step and then we run this function we run this function v1 array and plus 1 is equal to this what is the f name f name is equal to data num to str i dot tab so when you want to concatenate chars in matlab you can use this command for example char1 and char2 so i concatenated these two char variables and when I want to add numbers, I can use this function number to string six, for example. So we know that this is data i, yes, dot tab. So simulations are completed and we have this list. So anyway, here we record these numbers and finally we can plot. MA and this is V1 array. So let's run the MATLAB. Here we have this part of the code and we call this function. So because of this, I included this part of the code here. So let's run. We read the 
دیتا از ده بایسته از یک کنسی هیر ون وی اینکریس ده ولیو آو ام ای وی هاو لوور ان لوور سویچینگز سو یس دیس ایز ده فاینال پلات ایوالیت یس از یک کنسی ون ده ولیو آو ام ای is lower than 1 in this region we have a linear relationship yes this is very beautiful we have a linear relationship and then we have the non-linear region and then we have saturation yes because when the value of ma is very high actually we have a, a square wave output voltage Yes. So yes, this is very beautiful, and we can use macro programming to do this kind of analysis and calculate this kind of curves. Anyway, in this video, just I wanted to explain how we can do the scripting in ANSYS Simplorer software. And in the next video, we will discuss the three-phase inverter. Thanks for watching.